Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S6. This will work for uh, G920F, G920i, and also for the Galaxy S6 Edge also. Uh, so you can uh, check out the link down below in the description box. Uh, that's the link that will take you to the XDA forums. Uh, where you can see the download links uh, with the names and all that and limited instructions. So, um, uh, I have my Galaxy S6 here. This is G920i. So, yes, I have already installed it. I did a review of this. Uh, you can check it out on my channel. So, I highly suggest that you should check out my channel for that review. Of course, a link will be down below in the description box, so I highly suggest that you, sh you should watch that video first because it may not be worth it uh, at the moment to install this ROM, so definitely I suggest that you should check it out. So, um, first, of all, uh, y y first of all, make sure that you have a root access and a custom recovery installed. It doesn't matter if you are on 5.1.1, there is a very, very nice root tutorial um, given by Zito Max uh, or High on Android, whatever his channel name is. I'm just gonna leave the uh, link down below in the description box uh, so you can also check that out. So, very nice tutorial by Zito Max. So, I used his tutorial to root my Galaxy S6 on 5.1.1. So, after you have root and the uh, the TWR recovery install. Uh, what you need to do is you need to download the ROM and the G apps from the link down below in the description box. Uh, you can download them straight away on your Android phone using Google Chrome browser, or you can download on your on your PC or Windows device. Then you can copy it on your Intel memory of your phone. So it's just um, your preference. So uh, after you have copied the ROM and the G apps, go ahead and power off your phone. And when your phone is completely off, let's see here, you need to hold down the, vo uh, the volume up, power, and home button at the same time, like this, until you see Samsung logo. And on the top it says, recovery is not blah blah blah, doesn't matter. So, here we are in the recovery. Now, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and make a backup of your current ROM. So, make sure you have enough internal storage because the backup will be around 5 gigabyte if you are running the 5.1.1 TouchWiz, which you are, of course. So, just swipe to backup. Uh, after making a backup, what you need to do is you need to go here to wipe and you need to go into advanced wipe and you need to select these three first option devly cache cache and data okay do not select internal storage so if you select the internal storage this will going to wipe everything everything and you will be stuck here um you know do not just be careful do not select internal storage so just select the three options first three options and swipe and then of course, if you are done, then go ahead, go into install, scroll down. Of course, like I said, copy it to the root of your internal storage. This is the this is the ROM file CM13.0, 0FLTEXX. Uh, this is, I believe, for G920i and of course G920f. You will get this type of file uh, for the um, Galaxy S6 Edge. You will get 0. LDEXX without the F, so also make sure that you get the right type of file because you know, Percy, uh, I'm also a noob, so I was uh, actually trying to flash like S6 Edge files, so but I, you know, read that correctly and I was like, but <laughs> doesn't matter, you know, now I have the right file. So you need to first install the ROM, so I have to confirm flash after the installation of the ROM. Just go ahead and click on the Slim Mini G apps. These G apps are compatible with the Android 6.0.1 um, and also 6.0. So it's pretty nice because I tested out these G, G apps on my Galaxy S3. Uh, and also I'm going to test it out on my S5 and of course S4 when I'm going to install CyanogenMod 13 based ROM. So these are working absolutely fine. After uh, when you swipe to confirm flash, after flashing the G apps, just go ahead and reboot 
normally into the system and you will be presented by the Cyanogen mod um, rotating logo and then uh, you will see of course it's the euphoria logo here because i'm using a custom theme uh, but you will see sign mod blue color um blue color emojis type of thing and uh and then your device will boot up you you will see the the greetings the welcome the the setup and after going through setup your rom will look like this so uh again i suggest that you sh should check out my review of this rom before trying it out so yeah i will catch you guys in the next one if any questions any comments any suggestions uh for for more videos i mean comparing this to some other device or doing some other videos on this rom comment below and uh yeah i will see you guys in my next one have an awesome day